that's really it. All right, we got a couple of more phone calls. Guys, if I'm not answering your phone call, I know you're, you're leaving now, Adrian, right? Mm, yeah, I'm going to go. I just wanted to get this off my chest. And All right, just brother, say well, it. pray to God, bro, because we're not God, man. I know, but you're, you guys are my brothers. You guys. No, I know. I mean, know. the thing is, my consciousness is a little different than yours. But, you know, I think we have similar consciousness, me and you. So, uh, you know, I think that True. Just, uh, use wisdom, you know, as, uh, you know, as you move forward. All right, bro. Mm -hmm. All right. See you, bro. All right, bro. God bless you. All right. Just me and you, Moeller. Hey, um, I love you. Jesus by Ambassador. That's the one that I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ambassador. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, uh, yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Uh, somebody, somebody, somebody's calling. So let me just get some. No, let's see. See, I call people back, then they, they, they don't pick up when I call. So that's not on me. I move to the next person. All right, I'm calling you. you can. Well, what's up? What's up? Hey, what's going on, man? I wanted to call you and address two two statements that you made. And I have, uh, I have, feel like I have relevant, I have no relevant information I wanted to share. So go ahead. What's going on? So my name's Ben. Um, you call me Chill or Chill Humble. I have a radio show on 98.5 at Ben. I've been in the industry for a while since I got hit by a car and was paralyzed and started a clothing line. Um, Life's hard to be easy. And Wiz Khalifa did a song "Be Easy" back in the day before I was a Christian. Did a song so and stuff with Wiz Khalifa, Mac Miller. Through Big Sean's first concert, and even about Tupac Shakur, who you're mentioning, I know his older brother personally, no preacher Shakur. And his older uh, brother's a preacher. Information, if you wanted to interview him too. But, Tupac's uh, older brother's a preacher. I think he said Mo Prem. Oh, his, his name's Mo Prem. Hmm. You know who that is, Mo? Yeah, yeah. He was part of uh, Thug Life when they first started. He rapped with his brother. Mm -hmm. uh, Mo Prem. Let me tell me again. You can't really put you on speakerphone. I'm paralyzed. It's just easier for me. Is that cool with you? No, go ahead. Thanks. What's up? So yeah, his name's Mo Prem Shakur. His older brother, Mo Prem Shakur. Mm hmm And he's a preacher. Anyway. He's not a preacher. No, I'm a Christian. I, I preach, but I said he's his name is Mo Cream. I said I've gotten saved since I've gotten saved, and I've known Mo Cream Shakur. I've known people like Big Sean, Wiz Khalifa, Mac Miller. I'm just putting that out there to make this situation relevant. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Cool. Relevant, verifiable information. No, no, no. It's all good. I'll just take your word for it. We, you know, this I got like a million phone calls, so you know. My bad. Exactly. No, you're good. You're good, bro. rap music to being saved now and I'm a Christian rap DJ now. Um, and I met Marcus Rogers even who said something about Marcus Rogers. I would never say Marcus Rogers is better talent wise than Tupac, I guess if you're strictly speaking objectively. However, I think is Brian Tringo talent wise objectively better, but I think any Christian artist who's putting out any type of music that's got life could be better than Oh no no I'm strictly talking talent. Not yeah. not not message, right? Tupac's in hell because Tupac was glorifying drugs, sex, violence, uh, you know, Grand right. Theft Auto. But I'm saying it's like baseball, right? Uh, Sammy, uh, I'll use not Sammy Sosa because he took steroids, but Pedro Martinez is not a Christian. I will not say that a Christian pitcher is better than Pedro Martinez just because that pitcher is a Christian. Tim Tebow was a Christian. Let, let me finish my sentence and I'll let you go with this. Tim Tebow was a Christian quarterback, and as a player, he was garbage. I cannot compare Tim Tebow to Tom Brady talent-wise. So it's just talent. That's all I'm saying. However, Tom Brady's wife is a witch, admittedly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You're like, correct I, about I that. I get your point. However, like, it's talent. like, as a Christian, you should maybe, maybe you, maybe your way of looking at it could be... Although it's very honest and I respect it because you're you're speaking from the truth a truthful place. Is it do you believe it's the flesh and this is just I'm not you know what I'm saying, is this the flesh speaking? Do you think it's the spirit speaking? If you're to be honest, do you know what I'm saying? Because like think about it this way, Marcus Rogers, although I, I get it, rap wise, like it's maybe not even comparable sometimes in the sounds, but like he does he, he's a preacher, he does all types of other stuff too, you know, and then and then he just raps on the side, whereas people really, and I would also, would you name the two songs or three songs, any songs? What song can you listen to that Tupac 
that's, that's clean. Is that your conscience? I mean, I said I could, I could, I could listen to Dear Mama. Uh, that's really, that's really it. But I mean, I would, I haven't listened to Tupac in years. I was listening to Tupac yesterday, Dear Mama, and that's about it. You know. Gotcha. And, uh, you know, I was only listening to that because he was talking about his struggles growing up at 17 years old from his perspective. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it was clean in that way. You know, he was in prison. His mother and him were in trouble. He was selling drugs at a young age. And, you know, he... I know. I'm familiar with that song. Man. Yeah, yeah, was... yeah. That, that song's crap. That's why you got that. No, no response back from me. Because I would normally people go with changes. I guess people tell me changes all the time. Like, are you kidding me? Mm. If, you lyrics, if you listen to the lyrics, that song is like no life. No, nah, I mean, the song is true in the sense that uh, at the time, I think that you kill a ne if a cop killed a Negro, he was a hero. That was the, right. the way that, uh, you know, that it was viewed back then. But I, I, I was never right. big. It's more stating it, I think, in a way that promotes it, is good, right? Because now he's cemented that as a part of also, we have to look at that. And remember, Tupac was also a great poet, like not even music. He used to write literally, <clears throat> you know, like like he has articles of poetry that I would study in school for English literature. So, you know, that, that that's what I would say. I'm not endorsing Tupac by any means. You know, let me be very clear. Uh, real quick, Mauler, anything you want to add to this? Yeah, well, I'm just saying as a brother, you, you don't want to confuse us by saying you should listen to him. We think he's great. But let me give you another category so that we can really parse this. But is any Christian movie an actor that you know as an actor better than, let's say, the actors that you know would say is in the world? In other words, worldly actors dominate that industry. Is there an actor you can name in the Christian world that's better than, say, the best actor in the celebrated world? But that's what we're doing with Tupac. We're saying he's a talent into himself, and it's undeniable. Just like you would say Leonardo DiCaprio is a talent, undeniable or martin scorsese is the greatest director that you probably have ever seen regardless of the content of his movies we're not going to sit here and lie to an audience and say no there's a christian director that's better than martin scorsese no there's a there's another actor that's better than let's say the most prominent actor it's probably not true so let's just give credit where credit's due now the motive behind it and we pumping them up and saying download albums absolutely not keep listening to that trash that's exactly what it was it took over my life so nobody's nobody's making that Respectfully, how's it better? Just respectfully, not trying to be difficult. Even I just like, even a Brenda's got a baby. Like that, that song was was about a story about a woman, right? It wasn't about like objectifying women. It was, you know, the opposite, right? If you were able to come up with one clean song by Tupac Shakur, and so if you're gonna translate it to movies, you might be able to find one. But uh, movies is, is even. Who's trickier. your favorite actor, brother? Who's your if favorite actor? Is dark, and how much darker is the soul? Who, who's your favorite actor, brother? Who's your favorite actor? Oh, I don't have it. I'm not trying to be difficult on that. I just don't have a favorite actor. I don't watch movies much or TV much anymore. I got rid of that and television. I don't even have that. So I don't. So, bro, I well, think the difference. At one point, you had one. So we just like to know who it is. But if that, that's okay. Like you said, you're not trying to fight. I'm just asking who's your favorite actor. But I understand where you're going. Yeah. And, and yeah, look. When it comes to music, it's a lot more broader for me. Like, I'm not. I'm, I'm all over when it comes to music. I, I would love to, you know, I could talk about it. When it comes to movies, though, I just found that as a Christian for me, to, my eyes stumble too much. I mean, I'm a former sex addict and a, for, a former porn addict, so I haven't I don't have that addiction or that problem anymore, but I do feel like um, as someone, you know, I, I even used to have, I owned a company called Naked Collective, if you search it on Google. I used to have a record label and, and put out um, images that are, like, softcore, but nothing, but nothing appropriate, yeah, for sure. So, like, yeah, that for me, it's. I think it's it's, it's better as bro as a brother. That's why I was calling in. The conviction was to call in just to encourage you. And I know, and that's why I spoke to y'all from a point of saying, okay, it's relevant to me. But I just think it might be better for us if we kept our standard. Um, if if Jesus Christ was here before us, it would be easier because he could just say. But we have to like look to the Holy Spirit. If Jesus really Christ were here, the Holy Spirit in us, we'd rather listen. Yeah. To yeah if Trail if Jesus him. Christ were here, I would tell Jesus, Jesus, you gave Tupac a gift that was bigger than anybody else. You gave Michael Jackson a gift that was bigger than anybody <clears throat> else. You know. But even well, though, let, let me finish. Let me finish, and I'll let you go. But even you though, sorry, can even you though, though, can you talk up? Yeah, yeah. You can't hear me. Not as well. No, I told you I had to put you on speakerphone. 
Okay, so I said that if Jesus Christ were in front of me, I would say, Jesus Christ, you gave Tupac, you gave Michael Jackson the biggest gifts in the world, and they used it for Satan. Lord, you didn't give me much of a big gift, but with the little gift that you gave me, I honor you. And my little gift is good enough for my salvation. And that's what matters to me. So I'm not endorsing Tupac. I'm not saying download the albums. You know, I'm simply saying Tupac was Michael Jordan. And it would be rough for me to say Marcus Rogers and Tupac are in the same questions. Because then I lose my credibility. Correct. You know Correct. 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 No way. I think that your credibility is, as, as a Christian is tough there. Because if you're just able to name Dear Mama. As a song by Tupac. Yeah, you're, you're not. I don't think you're getting it, brother. He's not saying that Tupac is not. Is not bro, you're not. You're not getting. Yeah, you're, you're not getting, not, getting, what you're I'm not getting it, bro. Not, forget the music. I just said that half the music, or ninety five percent of the music, is 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 maybe demonic. Own and demonic. I am simply saying that Tim Tebow was a Christian quarterback, but he is not better than Peyton Manning, regardless of him being Christian. That is what I'm saying. So, brother, God bless you. Uh, feel free to call in again anytime because I got a million phone calls, all right? Take my call, bro. Anytime. I'll try to check you out as well, you heard? Send me an email anytime. with your stuff. Call in anytime you want. 95 FM, we'd love to have you on air, man. Can, you can express your opinions on whatever you want. We're on 95 FM. You can save my number and I'm on YouTube. Just let me know if you want to be on the air. You can you send all this stuff to my email by any chance or no? Anybody could do it in your camp? I can text you if I can do There we go. Perfect. All right, man. God bless you. God bless, buddy. Hey, JP. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? You know how, I mean, I just wanted to say real quick how the brother brought up uh, the baby. And that song, he says like F cops and stuff. That song Rockstar that he that he brought up. And the baby calls himself Jesus. So I don't think it was very wise to say that's a good song to kind of. Well, oh, he's yeah. talking. He's talking about. He's talking about the music. That's what I was telling him. If you if you like the beat, that's one thing. But kind of wean off of that, yeah. But Tupac also called himself, you know, Machiavelli. Called him, and he makes references to Jesus. I mean, his album cover was him being crucified. 